Yeah, so, so, so let me do this one question that for whatever reason I haven't done before. So uh, it's not going to be, it, it's a you know, short question. It's, I, it's not that long or difficult. But uh, for the sake of completion, let me just uh, do it so that, um, so that you know, I, it's done and <laughs> I don't have to come back to this set until I add more questions to the problem set. So uh, it's asking, what are the possible values of m for an electron to be in n equals 5 state? So uh, let me just list all the possible combination of uh, quantum numbers. So if uh, n is uh, equal to 5, then the, remember the possible values of L are b from 0 to all the way to n minus 1. So that means the possible values of L would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now, uh, if you are just trying to get the answer quickly, then we really only have to consider this because all the other possible values of m that I would get using these smaller values of l, I would get them with l equals 4 as well. So if I'm just using this, then the possible values of m sub oops, l are, it, it's, you know, from minus l and incrementing by 1, to all the way to plus L. So it would be from minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So um, there are nine possible states here. Let me just list them all. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I don't think they have to be ordered. Um, just a unordered list. Now, if someone were to ask how many distinct states are there with n equals 5, then the answer there actually is a 9. It's, I think it should be 25, like n squared is used, the formula, I remember. And so if you are doing that, then what you would have to do is, you know, okay, so for this state, my possible values of m sub l is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So I count it nine here, I count seven here. There's probably a way to do this more quickly, but I'm trying to kill a little bit of time, so let me do that. Minus two, minus one, zero. Uh, someone who's better at combinatorics than I am can probably figure out uh, why the, the number of degenerate states here should be, I think, uh, uh, n squared, I think. But um, it's small enough, I can just do the addition. Here it's um, minus 1, 0, plus 1. And with this state, the only possible value is 0. So this is 3. This has count of 1. 1 plus 3 plus 5, 9 so far, uh, plus 9, 18, plus 7, 25. Yep, I get 25 total possible state, 5 squared. But anyways, that's not what the question is asking. Question is just asking for this bit. Um, did that? Submit the question. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, not, not a difficult question. I For whatever reason, I just haven't done it before. So now I've done it. I've done the entire problem set. So, okay. What was in the hint? Um, yeah, yeah, it's... Um, the, you know, at the level we cover atomic physics, it's all well, kind of easy. Application of formulas, counting, number of quantum states. Um, the only piece that might involve a little bit of complexity is dealing with angular momentum. But I don't think we have any homework questions that go deeply into it. Just, uh, um, yeah. I, I did a lecture on uh, stern garlock experiment. But, um, you know, just a lecture. If you're interested, you can watch it. If you are not. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs>